So I've got my animal, I've got my picture of Robbie here, my dog. I've got my painting and I've done the background to look like Franz Mark, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to paint Robbie to look like as if Franz Mark painted him. There's Franz Mark's yellow cow, can you see that? Yeah. yeah. And I took the background of Franz Mark's yellow cow and put it into my painting. There's, there's Robbie, there he is. Anyway, oh, Robbie the dog, oh, my dog, he's a boy. Now what colour does Franz Mark paint animals that are boys? Blue. 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 What colour does he paint animals that are girls? Yellow. Yellow. But what you notice though is, sometimes, he didn't stick to it as a hard and fast rule. Like here we got yellow cow, yellow tiger, red fox, and then a purple fox, blue horse, yellow cow, yellow dog, blue horse. But red was, what, what was red the colour of? Yeah, anger and violence and aggression. That's not really helping me the yellow cow. So what I want to do is, I remember Franz Mark painted some cats as blue. I'm just going to write Franz Mark painting, which I spelled incorrectly, but that's the, beauty, that's the beauty of Google, is it fixes it all. And now I'm looking for how Franz Mark paints a blue animal. Boom. Right there are some blue horses. See that? So all I've got to do is I've got to put my photo of Robbie through the Franz Mark machine. Right over. Now, if I was really smart, I would probably use a, an app on my iPad or Photoshop. And what I would do is in Photoshop or on my iPad, I can actually stain my photo a color. I can actually, in Photoshop, I'd be able to make Robbie look blue. And that would get half, that would do half the work for me. And then I'd just copy it. But now what I've got to do is I've got to take the black hairy dog pump it through there from that image, through my brain, and out through my hands comes a blue dog. It's kind of like I've got to process it, and it's a bit tricky to do. But let's go, let's do it. First thing I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna get some blue in there, but I don't wanna lose my drawing of my dog. So, sort of be aware that I'm painting his foot there, and then going, right, well there's his belly, and there's his body. And I'm gonna pick up this lighter blue here and um, start working that in. Now Robbie's a hairy dog, so I'm doing a hairy kind of patterns on him. Can you see that? That's starting to work. There you go. While that's still wet, I'm going to pick up some white. And I'm going to use white, white on its own. I'm going to add a little bit of blue to the white. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, I'm going to just going to, I guess, knock the edge off the white a little bit and make it like a. I'm just going to check it. Yep, that's about right. I need a bit of it though. And I have a look at my photo of Robbie. He's pretty much black as anything. I have a look at how Franz Mark did blue, and I notice that he did quite pale blue, worked back into the dark blue. And I've got to make some decisions, so I go, well, instead of the horse's neck, or the horse's, I'm doing Robbie's rump, so I'll do the horse's rump. There's kind of like a pale bit here, look. And then I'm just blending it. Now, I might have to do a few goes at this. This is my first layer of paint. And then I'm gonna leave that shadow where his back leg and his body join up. So I'm going to leave a shadow in there because I noticed Franz Mark leaves a shadow in there. If we have a look at the video, ah uh, the video, the photo, is that showing up? Mm -hmm. So there's this dark shadow just there. You can see it there, right? This dark shadow. So I'm going to copy that idea. Even though that's a horse and this is a dog, it works. It's universal. Okay. There's the front leg, like that. The paint off your brush, pick up that white again, mix yourself a, a Pale blue. Um, again, I notice whenever he does a limb, whenever he does a limb, like a leg, there's this pale bit down the middle. That's actually the neck of the horse. But it's darker on either side and pale down the middle. What, the best thing to do is start in the mid-tone, go dark and then come light. Okay? So start mid-tone, then go dark and then go light. Okay. So what we've got, we don't want Lara's head in this by the way, so what we've got is dark shadows, light highlights, 
and then everything else is just the mid blue. So let's start with the mid blue, right? So what I do is I grab my mid blue here, use a little bit of water, paint it in such a way that you're leaving the lines. So there's his front leg, so there's, his, there's one leg, there's the other leg, and there's his chest. Can you see what I did here? Can you see that? I left that gap there, so I know where it is. Because I don't it's very easy to get lost. Now I'm sticking kind of loose and shaggy, why? Because he's a shaggy dog. He's a shaggy, you say my dog shaggy? He is a shaggy dog. Right. So here's my shaggy dog, right? And here's his, he's got an ear here. Now remember I talked about letting the landscape come in and over the background, over the animal? Because I'm gonna, um, it allows me to, it allows me to then to let him sit back over the top of the landscape. So I'm doing mid blue everywhere. I'm going to leave the nose for the minute. I'm going to leave the mouth. And there he kind of is, right? So I'm going to consult my friend's Mark Blue painting. And I notice that if I zoom in, let's just have a look at the neck of the horse. It goes dark blue. And then there's, it's like the whole thing's mid blue. And then there's a bit of dark blue on each side and a light bit through the middle. So we're going to blend it, okay? So I'll just do his front legs. So I'm going to get my darkest blue and I'm gonna work it down the outside of the feet here, like that. And I'm gonna work it into all these shadows here as well. Okay, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna pick up my light tone here, my lighter blue, where I'm gonna put that? Sort of, sort of in the middle, no, no kind of hard, hard and fast rule, but I'm gonna put it sort of in the middle of my, I'm gonna lighten this up a bit. Now we're going to come back later with a thin brush and paint the teeth and everything in. So today is just about getting colour down. So we're obliterating, we're obliterating all the background, right? So we're just filling it in. Just getting some basic colour and tone down. Let that dry. And then what you do, who's got their art kit? Can I grab, can you grab me some fine brushes out? After it's dry, you're going to come back with these kind of brushes and start painting in more finer details, okay? Something really important to note is that I heard you were saying, I don't want to do my dog blue because my dog's not blue. But we're studying Franz Marc, right? Or we're doing Henry Rousseau. If you don't want to do dog blue, do Henry Rousseau because Henry Rousseau did them in normal colours. You can work normal colours in, but maybe what colour is your dog? Brown. brown. You can do your dog brown but put bluey tinges into it. Have a look at Franz Marc. Sometimes he did things in natural colours. There's some brown horses, ready brown horses and he's got blue manes and things on them. So give it a bluey tinge, or what we call a blue hue. Okay. What were we gonna do about the uh, mouth, okay? The mouth is pink. So I'm gonna mix up a pink, because some things are gonna be realistic, and other things, wow, what a color. Did you see that? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, so I'm gonna work that pink tongue in, and keep it loose. See how, see how I've kept it loose? And sort of furry, keep everything kind of nice and loose. Let the yellow underneath glow through. The whole idea is the yellow glows through. All right, so there's the tongue. Now I'm going to use this one, add a little bit of water to it. Now I'm rolling the paint off the back of the brush. There's always gets paint on the back of the brush, and we need it on the front. Okay, so roll it off the back, pick it up on the front, and Teeth. Let's have a look at our photo. There's his teeth. There's another tooth, another tooth, another tooth, tooth. And I'm looking, okay? I'm actually looking at my photo. I'm stopping. There's his teeth in there. They're a bit stuck on top, so I've got to blend them in. Now, this is where... It's, that's got white in it. This is where... Um, it's okay to use a little bit of black. So pick up a little bit of black and mix it with, the, with whatever colour you're doing, okay? And we get this really dark blue. Now, what do black and white make? Grey. Right, we don't want black and white ever to get together in your painting, okay? So keep the black and the white away from each other Isn't when you're mixing colour. Where? There? Yeah. It's got blue and stuff in it. Yeah, it is, it's a grey colour. But just be careful, that's all, okay? Black can get away from you. Alright, 
Now I'm going to use this black colour and I'm going to start putting some darker shadows into Robbie, into my dog, okay? So is there a way that you can remove paint? Sorry? Off the, off the canvas, like can you remove paint? Can you move, remove mm -hmm. paint? <laughs> no, you paint back over it. You let it dry yeah. and you paint back over it. What really? colour? Uh, whatever colour you want to... I, I just keep painting back over it. So you made his nose... So you never really waste paint? Sorry? Is yeah. that a waste? No, I said so you don't really waste paint. He's, he's no. So you won't waste his the dog's nose somewhere. looks like that kind of nose. No, dogs, dogs, dogs... My dog's nose does look like that. So now, are you filming what I'm doing in here? I'm yeah. getting Now I'm getting some nice dark tones. And I'm working... It's a bit wet though. It's sort of got to be dry to do this bit, this next bit. Can but I'm... Sorry? Do we leave our paintings at No, you take them home. I just want to see what you're up to. And they're really cool. So, anyway, I could keep going. But this effect here, this is called dry brushing. I'll do it on the back. If you, if you don't have much paint on your canvas, you get this kind of a, a paint on your brush. If you don't have much paint on your brush, you get this kind of effect. It's called dry brushing. And it's a really good way of doing little highlights. Somebody's nose has a shine on it. So... I'm just going to get a tiny bit of paint on my brush, get most of it off, okay, and then it's I'm like going to, highlighter. yeah, and then I'm going to dust the top of his nose like that, okay, and just sort of dry brush it on. What was your question? You know how you've done the background first? Yeah. Are we doing the background first or? Yeah, you do the background first. So here's someone's painting here. Be forever immortalized on YouTube. So see how the background's been done first? So bring the background into the animal a little bit. Overlap it. So the background comes in and then your animal sits back over the top. It'll be a better effect. So, good question is, someone asked me, is that finished? Yes. No, it's not. No, it's not finished yet. I'm now gonna let that dry, okay? I'll let that dry. Take a day, maybe, all in the sun, put it out in the sun. Um, and then come back to it later on and I'm going to repaint over most of this but now instead of sorry instead of working with a brush that size or that size when I do my second layer of paint I'm now working with these kind of brushes and what am I going to start painting in? Details. Details. Sorry? What was the other word? Crevices. Crevices, highlights, you know, now we start, you know, making his eyes look like his actual eyes. Making his teeth look like his teeth. I might put that dark, um, sort of, sort of bit down the middle of the tongue, you know, once it's dry. Start putting tones in everywhere. Look at that, I'm painting upside down. All right, so I'll start, and I'll start to rework all these bits to make them more, you know, like, it's, 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 about, it's about what you're satisfied with. If you look at it and go, oh, you know what, well, I'm not really satisfied with that, you need to go back and paint over it again. Okay? All right? But that's kind of, we're getting on the way now to having our animal done.